If you're feeling in a rut and want to find ways for self-improvement, there's gonna be a lot of tips for you out there. It's like learning a new skill, setting goals, working out, stop being a failure, and maybe start your own YouTube channel. Jokes aside, this channel definitely helped me in my own photography. Here's how. Because I'm a couch potato, I consume countless hours of content online, and I pass this off as doing research to find out different topics that I could make in my own videos. And in doing so, I can see the different content other creators are making on YouTube, from the professionals, the smaller channels out there. And I can see how they do things, the different tips that they give out. And I can apply these learnings in my own photography when I'm on location. So this really helped me a lot. So because the purpose of this vlog is to share my outdoors experience to everyone when I'm out taking photos, I start to become a bit more structured and focused in my photography. So for example, for today, I went out not only to watch the sunrise, but also plan to catch the last full moon set of 2022. And I've never really done these scouting, planning work, and sharing the full experience to everyone. So this allowed me to be a bit more detailed and methodical in my photography. But unfortunately, the moon is now behind those clouds. <laughs> <laughs> but this was supposed to be the plan where I take the photo of the full moon set around here with the towering skyscrapers of Hong Kong. And I'm not afraid to share the failures with everyone because this is all part of the process in photography. You fail maybe 90% of the time, but the 10% that you successfully capture your plan shot it makes everything worth it. Despite not being able to capture the moon set, I made the most out of the time out to capture some interesting views of the city at sunrise. There's always a silver lining just being out and appreciating the views. Later that evening, I went out to the city for a different composition plan and photographed the waning gibbous at 98.4%, which I think still worked out in the end. And I hope you enjoyed these images. So another recent realization I had is that YouTube has a much longer shelf life than other platforms out there. So for example, a video I made maybe one or two years ago are still being shown to new people in comparison to let's say Instagram where you post a photo and then it just kills it after maybe a week at most. So another benefit in starting out this photography channel is that it pushed me to be more consistent in going out to take photos, helping me to capture more experiences and to push out content more consistently. Now I know I might get some heat, like people say, oh, you should go out and do photography because it's your passion, you love it, not for the content. But come on, let's be honest. Whenever people respond positively to the work you're putting out, there's a sense of validation, and it feels really good to be recognized by strangers. <laughs> miss, 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 do you watch my YouTube channel? Another point I forgot to mention wow. is the fact that I am able to capture the I'm feelings and emotions present over. at the time I took the photograph, which I'm sure every photographer wants to share. I can also include my own personality into these videos and make things more unique and engaging. My sense of humor may not be for everyone, but to be able to combine jokes and photography into the channel was never part of the reasons why I started the channel, but something I enjoyed to keep me going. I gotta be honest, I still kinda really like social media, and I know Instagram is getting a lot of flat because it's killing the platform for photographers, focusing more on short-form content like reels, but I don't really care about all of that. Okay, I still kinda really do, but... <laughs> I just wanted to focus more about building the community and less on the analytic side. And so that's right, one of the biggest motivations I have in keeping up with the content is you. People who watch and support the content that you make and keep things engaging and just makes it more worth it for me. Whenever I see people comment that they enjoy the content, I made them laugh, I inspired them to do photography, the tips that I give out are so informative. That just really, you know, like, makes my day. So this is going to be my last vlog for 2022 and I just wanted to give out a big thank you for the support, the motivation and inspiration for me to keep going in my photography and this channel. I didn't really meet the 1000 subscriber goal I set out to achieve this year but it's okay, I'll get there slowly but surely. And I finally figured out the direction that I wanted to take this channel. Comparing my videos from one or two years ago, I think the quality has also tremendously improved. I am much less awkward in the camera now. <laughs> so yeah, I'll see you in 2023. Thanks for watching and have yourselves a happy new year.